crossing the fire's shadow and becoming a descendant of the Thousand-Handed Clan. Writing a diary can make you stronger. As rewards continue to be earned, Chenshou Qianyu noticed that none of the female ninjas seemed to be quite right. Lord Qianyu, you don't want the contents of your diary to be known to others, do you? Qianyu looked bewildered, is this still the shy and introverted Hinata? Wait, Sakura, why is there something wrong with your figure? To be honest, did you find Gang's Ho for tutoring? At the same time, female ninjas such as Ino, Conan, and Sion all chose not to pretend. Qian Yu is very helpless, I am really just casually writing a diary. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Qian Yu's Diary, The Beginning of Daily Collapse You are listening at NovelFull.audio At the training ground of Kiba, a girl dressed in sleeveless tang attire with a bun head tied is conducting daily ninja training. Sweat soaked her orange clothes, and her lovely cheeks were now incredibly rosy. Suddenly, in front of her, a diary with a golden border fell off. What is this? The girl bent down, although her figure was not very prominent, her skin was quite fair and tender. She picked up the diary that had fallen on the ground. Chinsho Chinyu Diary, Every Day, A Thousand Hands and a Thousand Buildings A handsome young man with black hair and black eyes suddenly appeared in Tientian's mind. This guy is a descendant of the Thousand-Handed Clan who returned to the village not long ago. He is slightly older than her, as if he is seventeen or eighteen years old. For ninjas at this age, it can certainly be considered quite young, especially for the thousand-handed clan with astonishing vitality. But more importantly, every day I heard that Qian Yu inherited all the assets of the Qianshou clan, and is the standard existence of the ninja world tycoon. As a renowned presence in the ninja world, the thousand-handed clan is capable of standing at the pinnacle of the ninja world, whether it is thousand-handed pillar Jian, who was hailed as the god of ninjas in the first generation of Hokage, or thousand-handed Kagami Jian, a developer of forbidden ninjutsu. Therefore, it goes without saying how the thousand-handed clan during its heyday could strengthen nature, and they even chose to form a strong alliance with the Whirlpool clan. It is said that there was no one in the entire ninja world at that time who could compete with the thousand-handed clan. Even the once powerful Uchiha clan has been completely reduced to a non-mainstream family in the Fire Kingdom due to the departure of their leader Uchiha Ban and the exclusion and suppression of the second dot generation Hokage Kagami. But it is this incredibly large family that almost inexplicably disappears from the entire ninja world. The only one still associated with the Thousand Hand clan is Princess Tsunade, who is known as one of the three ninjas. Now Chinsho Chinyu's return to my represents not only himself but also the return of the Chinsho clan. After all, he owns countless properties, real estate, and ninja shops in all five major countries. These industries that once belonged to the Chinsho clan have been transformed into legitimate industries under Chinsho Chinyu due to systematic reasons. Even the ninja shops opened by Tiantianjia are produced by Chinyu and their factories. So Tian Tian still has some impressions of this Chen Yu Tian Tian. After all, even the three generations of Hokage adults, who are known as the strongest ninjas today, are polite to this young man. Nowadays, many girls and even female ninjas in Kiba Ninja Village are very interested in this Chio, including the elite ninja Nishiriko. However, it seems that Ape Flying Asthma also has some thoughts about this Sirihong teacher. Will this affect the relationship between the Monkey Flying Clan and the Thousand-Handed Clan? I am not very clear about these things every day. After all, she is just a ninja who has just graduated from ninja school. That guy actually keeps a diary. A blush appeared on Tintian's face. To tell the truth, it is not true that she has no heart for the handsome and famous Chenshou Chenyu in the village. Would it be impolite to rashly flip through someone else's diary? What if Lord Chen Yu blames him? If he doesn't sell me ninja tools in the future, it will be ruined. 
Although thoughts of rejection kept flashing in my mind, my hands were completely disobedient. Lord Qian Yu, you may not believe it when you say it out loud. It was the diary that moved the hand first. With the movements of Tian Tian's hands, this diary was also opened. Just as soon as I opened it, a flurry of information came to my mind. This is a very magical diary by viewing the content, you can effectively learn about the ninja world, which may be helpful for your future life, once the diary is opened, it is bound to the owner for life, and no one else has any way to pry into the contents of the diary. Tip. The existence of the diary cannot be disclosed to outsiders, otherwise it will be completely erased. The continuous flow of information instantly makes the scalp tingle every day. What the hell is going on? How do you feel like your brain suddenly explodes? I shook my head every day, sorted out my emotions, and quickly opened the first page of my diary. I, Qian Yu, have traveled through the world of Hokage, Hinata's wife pasted the stickers, Sakura splashed on my concubine and lay down, cute and whimpering every day, and in no way Yujie was fierce. What? Just the short two lines of language I just saw made Tian Tian feel confused. Is this? Or is it the seemingly cold Chen Yu adult? Hinata. You wouldn't be referring to the wealthy young lady from the Hinata clan, would you? If I remember correctly, hasn't she graduated from ninja school yet? But it's almost there, it's their turn for the ninja's next ninja exam. As for Sakura. Who is Sakura? I have some doubts every day, she doesn't remember such a person. As for Ino, I have heard of him before. It seems that he belongs to a tribe in the mountains, so it should be Ino in the mountains. As one of the classic combinations of future pig deer butterfly, she has a very good relationship with the Nara clan's deer Maru and the Akito clan's Ding Si. However, for Tian Tian, who comes from a commoner background, there is no special intersection. Finally, Tian Tian's gaze was fixed on everyday cute whispering. Her cheeks instantly turned red, and Chen Yu, Lord Chen Yu, actually thought I was cute. Every day, I involuntarily touched my meatball head and head, it seems. Indeed. It seems. Quite cute. No, no, how could Lord Chen Yu know me? Although there are so many girls pursuing her, even teacher Zirihong is no exception, he can never have noticed me, that's right. By the way, what does this time traveling mean? Hokage world. I frowned and thought for a moment every day. Does the so dot called Hokage world refer to the ninja realm I am currently in? Our ninja world is called Hokage world. It's impossible. No matter what happens every day, it is clear that this ninja realm is controlled by the five great powers. Under the balance of fire, wind, thunder, earth, and water, each of the five major countries is equally powerful. With doubts in mind, I continued to flip down every day. I didn't expect my system to have to write a diary every day, so I have to fill up your little notebook so hard, but speaking of it. Is my identity a descendant of the thousand-handed clan? It seems quite decent. Fortunately, it seems that my face hasn't changed much, it's still as handsome as before. Hmm. Did you bring the 18 cm ruler with you? It seems that the system is quite user-friendly, and the crime tools have also prepared me very well. Jie Jie Jie. My second brother. Invincible in the world. Chapter 2. Hinata's wife is more beautiful than the original. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. What? Although Tian Tian is not very clear about what Qinshou Qin Yu is writing, he always feels very yellow and violent in the dark. Is it difficult for Lord Qin Yu to take action against Mu Yi? But why only focus on a female ninja named Kiba? It's strange every day, even my face is getting hotter unconsciously. I don't know if it's because the training was too intense just now. Lord Qin Yu is so handsome, how could he attack Mu Yi? Besides, Mu Yi was founded by the Qianshou clan. Every day, he spoke to himself for a while, 
and then his eyes showed an incomparable firmness. That's right, Lord Qianyu must just be writing casually. After organizing my memories, I found out that I had traveled to the world of Fire Shadow, and my body had also traveled together, except that the cells of the Thousand-Handed Clan flowed in my genes I am really curious about how much help the cells of the Thousand-Handed Clan, as the most powerful clan in this Hokage world, can provide me but what surprised me even more was that the Thousand-Handed Clan had left me with a large amount of wealth. With billions of assets at the beginning, I shouldn't have taken care of Nanjia directly, right, even if Nanjia uses it all to buy explosive symbols, I, should, be able to afford it, right. After self-training for a period of time, I quickly mastered the use of chakras and some special ninjas of the Thousand-Handed Clan I set off and arrived at my final destination, Kiba. I didn't expect to encounter Tian Tian as soon as I entered Kiba every day, with her head tilted, she remembered that her meeting with Lord Qianyu was her first travel mission. At that time, it was her first time leaving the village to do a task, and the difficulty level was even B. Level, the difficulty of such a task represents the possibility of encountering and fighting with ninjas from other villages. Tian Tian naturally seemed a bit nervous, while Xiaoli beside him was filled with passionate thoughts and no sense of fear, okay, I must be the first to complete the task and reward myself for running a hundred laps around the wooden leaves. Dot. Every day, I feel helpless. Xiao Li is just a weirdo because he lacks the talent for ninjutsu, and even graduating from ninja school is very difficult. She looked at Ning Ci on the other side, who, like Hinata, was a man from the Hinata clan who was born with such a powerful ability to inherit the bloodline and limit like white eyes. They can easily see through the chakra meridians in the human body, and Rochuan can accurately strike all the acupoints on the opponent's body, the opponents of the blocked operation will be unable to use and extract chakras, which is no different from a lamb waiting to be slaughtered for ninjas. It's just a bit strange every day. Since you've already hit the opponent's full body acupoints with a soft punch, why not just use a painless punch? Finally, there is the team leader every day, Matt Kai, who, like Xiao Li's biological father and son, is wearing a tasteless green tight-fitting suit. He often makes seemingly passionate but awkward remarks that are so embarrassing that he buttocks his toes, Li, Tian Tian, Ning Si, let's set out towards youth in the sunset. Faced with Metki's task, Tian Tian could only weakly cope with it, hi. Hi. I got it. Tian Tian let out a long sigh, and in this ninja team, it was obvious that he was the only one who could be considered a normal person. Just as she was worried about whether she needed to find a way to change teams, she accidentally bumped into a tall figure. I don't stand firm every day, I fall to the ground, and my buttocks hurt badly. She originally wanted to get angry, but in front of her was a very white and beautiful hand. Looking up every day, standing in front of me was a young man with black hair, he smiled warmly and beautifully, and in just an instant, he froze every day. Hello, every day. Hey. You. You. You know me. Faced with the warm greeting from the other person, I am very puzzled every day, but I have never seen this person before. The black-haired boy grabbed Tian Tian's hand and pulled her up, then nodded and said. Of course, of course I know you. However, this is a secret for now. After speaking, before Tian Tian could react, he had already walked towards the direction of the Mu Yi Huaying building. Hey, every day. Outside my village, Xiao Li is waving and shouting at Tian Tian. I know. I know. Tian Tian didn't think much, but followed the team and set off towards the task site outside the village. Every day is much more beautiful than I imagined, but I actually pushed her down the first time. It's really a bit bad. Although it was just a momentary contact. The small one is also very cute. Can cute. Does Lord Tian Yu really think I'm cute? Looking at the constantly mentioned evaluations of Qian Shou Qian Yu in his diary every day, every day's face turned red even more. As for being knocked down by Lord Qianyu. Every day has long been forgotten, 
there is no sense of anger at all. Humph, I don't need you to praise me for being cute, but I want to become a powerful female ninja like Lord Tsunade. Every day, I bulged my cheeks and patted my cheeks to calm down my restless heart. It's too exciting to sneak a peek at someone else's diary, isn't it? However, it seems that Lord Gangsho is also from the Qianshou clan. I wonder if you could ask Lord Qianyu to recommend it to me. I just don't know what gift is suitable for Lord Qianyu, after all, even if he thinks I'm so cute, he can't help me for no reason, can he? The current Hokage Monkey Flying Sun Slayer in Kiba has given me quite a face. After learning that I am the only second descendant of the Thousand Armed Clan, he not only arranged a place for me to live, but also provided me with a lot of help in my daily life in Kiba, but that guy named Jitsuan Tuanzang is still equally cunning, as if he is very interested in my thousand hand cell. I'm sorry, that old guy pinched the wrong soft persimmon. After I killed four or five root ninjas in a row, he really became much more honest. It seems that no matter in which world, a hard fist is the only one. Only if you are strong enough, you can not only deal with men, but also with women. Under the guidance of Monkey Flying Sun Slash, I visited their ninja school, not bad, not bad, of course, I'm referring to my Hinata wife. Whether it's my figure, appearance, or delicate appearance, they all perfectly fit my philosophy, and even the somewhat frightening white eyes almost perfectly hit my XP. After all, rolling your eyes is also a part of play. Chapter 3 Hinata Fainted It's too exaggerated. You are listening at NovelFull.audio What? What? Lord Chinyu actually has a good impression of Hinata Hinata. Oh my god! this is heavyweight news. Although in the world of ninjas, the age of marriage can generally be very early, even being 16 years old is a common and normal thing. But now Hinata Hinata is only 12 years old. So it seems Lord Chenyu, I hope you don't want such things. Every day, I secretly pray in my heart, but I don't know if it's because I know that Lord Chenyu actually likes Hinata, or maybe it's because of the tiredness of training for too long, Tian Tian has temporarily lost the mood to read her diary, so she decided to go back home and continue reading it. At the same time, at Kiba's ninja school, a girl with black hair and white pupils is secretly looking at a diary under the table. Her face turned incredibly red at this moment, as if she was steaming hot. The diary in her hand is almost identical to what she just received every day, they are all diary books with gold borders. But what is written on her diary is, Chien Yu Diary, Hinata. At the moment of opening, Hinata Hinata also received a large amount of textual information. However, as the eldest daughter of the Hinata clan, she has received a lot of cultural education since childhood, I also quickly understood the rules of this diary. And she also found that the diary was completely invisible to others. Hinata Hinata just flipped through Chihiro Chihiro's evaluation of herself, and that kind of straightforward expression of goodwill. I can't believe. Tianyu Lord is like this. Hinata Hinata naturally remembers the black-haired boy who suddenly walked in from outside the classroom that day. It looks much younger than teacher Irika, accompanied by the third generation of Hokage adults, all the students' eyes were focused on this young man named Chiencho Chienyu. Although Hinata Hinata thinks that Naruto Jun is also very handsome, it seems that the temperament of Lord Chiyu looks better. Especially when Hinata was facing Chiyu Simu, she shyly lowered her head in just an instant. Sorry about Naruto Jun's situation, she can't do it. Just from that day on, Chensho Chinyu became their random substitute teacher. The so dot called random substitute teacher means that according to Chinyu's preferences, there is no problem when he can come to ninja school for classes. Without any accidents, Chenyu would come to their class in Hinata every now and then to provide some basic teaching for each ninja. Especially when it comes to teaching Hinata, he is particularly serious. The knowledge he teaches is often simple and easy to understand, much stronger than teacher Irika. After Chenyu's guidance, Hinata also found that his control over his white eyes has improved significantly. 
So Hinata Hinata is also very grateful to this new Chiyu teacher, I just suddenly found this diary and discovered its contents, naturally, it made her feel like her brain was about to crash for a while. Coincidentally, the figure of Qianshou Qinyu appeared at the entrance. He had other things to attend to at school today. He happened to pass by and waved his hand towards the position of Hinata in the classroom, saying hello. However, Qianshou Qinyu didn't expect that Hinata was already on the brink of brain failure just now. The sudden stimulation from Qianyu even waved and smiled at her. Accompanied by Hinata's trembling sound, she collapsed directly on the table. Is there such an exaggeration? Hinata's reaction is a bit too exaggerated, right? This scene was clearly seen by Inoue sitting behind Hinata. She has a beautiful yellow hair, tied in a ponytail at the back, and a strand of hair hanging in front of her forehead, although they are also very young, they have already revealed a unique charm that sets them apart from female ninjas of the same level. At this moment, Jing Yi in the Mountains actually had a copy of Thousand Handed Thousand You Diary, Jing Yi in the Mountains, in her hand. She just saw Hinata's movements, although she couldn't see the diary in Hinata's hand, but according to her keen analysis, it is estimated that it is very likely. No wonder my name is also noted at the end of this diary. Yamanaka Inoue quickly analyzed that there should be more than one diary like this. Even not just Hinata, including the one mentioned above, there should also be Sakura who always struggles with herself. At this moment, Chencho Chenyu walked in outside the door. Irika's teaching was also forced to be interrupted. Just seeing Chenyu walking in, his expression instantly became very respectful. After all, this is Chenyu Lord, who has been authorized by his idol, the third generation Hokage Lord. Chenyu, why did you suddenly come? Are you planning to attend class today? Chencho Chenyu shook his head and walked towards Hinata Hinata. He held the fainting Hinata Hinata in his arms and then said to the Irika, Oh, I just saw Hinata faint outside, so take her to see if there's anything wrong with her body. So it's like this, thank you, Lord Chinyu. Irika expressed his gratitude. Just now, I was just staring at Naruto, this troublemaker. I was afraid that this guy might skip class or play some prank, so I didn't notice that Hinata Hinata had fainted. Fortunately, Lord Chinyu happened to pass by. If there is any problem, being held accountable by the members of the Hinata clan, I can't bear it at all. I envy you so much. Hinata can actually be held by Lord Chinyu himself. At this moment, Inoue in the mountains looked envious. How she wished it was herself who had fainted. But she also read the contents in her diary, and it seems that Chenyu has a special fondness for Hinata Hinata. It seems quite difficult to successfully intervene. Nowadays, Yamanaka Ino has no interest in Uchiha Sasuke at all. Compared to such a little kid, of course, it's even better to be a Chiyu adult. Another girl with the same idea as her is Haruno Sakura, who has pink hair. As mentioned in the diary, Xiaoying must be her own Chunai Sakura. Why would Lord Chanyu use such words to describe himself? It's really a bit sad. Originally, Haruno Sakura was very sad, after all, she was quite confident in her appearance. Even before Chenshou Tianyu appeared, she was very confident that with her outstanding appearance and impressive figure, she would be able to easily grasp Yuzibo Sasuke. If it weren't for the orphan Naruto Vortex causing trouble, she would have been in love with Sasuke a long time ago. Later, with the appearance of Chinsho Chinyu, gradually Chunai Sakura's eyes were only left with this young man with black hair. Compared to Sasuke's cold words, he appears both sunny and gentle. It's like the number one tree leaf. Although she belittled herself in her diary, Sakura quickly completed her emotional self-transformation. Just lie down, being written by Chinyu in his diary is enough to prove that he still has a lot of sexual interest in me. Chapter 4 Does the Tong Mu Hui Yi really have Jia? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Damn it, it's really annoying, Teacher Chinyu. The yellow haired little ghost in the classroom is being closely watched by Irika, 
and there is something like a beard on his face. This person is naturally Naruto Vortex, and he developed a strong sense of crisis towards the arrival of Chinsho Chinyu, it's not because of Hinata, but rather because of Sakura. Naruto can clearly feel that Sakura has a much higher fondness for this new teacher than Sasuke. Damn it, even though I'm much more handsome than teacher Chinyu, why can't Sakura Sas tell? Naruto Vortex appears very distressed. He has never had much popularity in ninja school, and even teacher Irika pays extra attention to himself because he is afraid of playing pranks. Hey, I really envy that guy, the descendant of the thousand-handed clan. Why can't I be the descendant of some powerful and influential person? Naruto Vortex, with his hands behind his head, began to enter a state of emptiness, and his mind began to fantasize about if his identity were to be swapped with Chinsho Chinyu. So Sakura will definitely fall in love with her, as it happens that no one else is bothering her at home. Thinking and thinking, Naruto's saliva is almost flowing out. Naruto, you didn't listen to the class properly. Irika's slightly angry voice beside his ear pulled Naruto Vortex back to reality. He felt a headache for the ninjas when it came to this question, and more importantly, Irika had some heartfelt disgust towards Naruto. After all, Naruto is a nine-tailed demon fox. Irika has never forgotten that his father died on the night of the Nine Tails Rebellion. He couldn't really like Naruto Vortex. If it weren't for the third generation of Hokage adults insisting on taking special care of this guy, Irika would have been too lazy to pay attention to Naruto. Chinsho Chinyu took Hinata Hinata to the medical room. After the medical staff checked and confirmed that she was fine, Chinyu decided to write down today's diary while Hinata was still awake. I came to the ninja school classroom for a stroll when I had nothing to do. I happened to encounter Hinata's wife who fainted. Not to mention her young age, she already has a very good foundation if there is no comparison, there is no harm. I just took a special look at Sakura and it is as flat as in the manga. I guess no matter how much I cultivate it, there won't be a chance, speaking of which, Inoue is quite good. She looks very handsome and has learned to dress up at such a young age. She even wears a navel revealing outfit, which is a bit too astringent. Tian Tian is still as cute as ever, and if you can grab two meatball heads, it seems quite nice. In the classroom, Inoue Yamanaka was the first to discover the update of the diary. She was momentarily stunned, wearing a navel exposed outfit, astringent. So this is how I feel in the heart of Lord Chinyu. However. She lowered her head to look at her slightly bulging chest, then at Sakura's flat surface, and a smile instantly appeared on her face. Sure enough, Lord Chinyu is still very discerning, Xiaoying. There's really no hope left. Hee <laughs> hee. At this moment, Sakura also noticed Inoue's unfriendly gaze, and she naturally saw a new content in her diary. I didn't expect Lord Chenyu to like that. Damn it, Sakura made up her mind to find a way to grow bigger. Tientian's face turned red as he grabbed the two small balls on his head. What did he want to do? This kind of statement is too explicit, isn't it? I can't believe that beneath the pure and virtuous appearance of Lord Chenyu, there is still such an unknown side hidden. But. Tian Tian couldn't hate Chenyu no matter what. Even in my heart, I feel a little fortunate that I insisted on getting this bun-shaped hairstyle back then. Speaking of which, the system says I get a reward for writing a diary every day, otherwise I wouldn't be bothered to write. A serious person who writes a diary. Can one still call their inner thoughts after writing them out? If it weren't for dealing with the extraterrestrial attacks of Okaboki in the future, I wouldn't be too lazy to do such a thing. After all, I now have the top talent of the Thousand-Handed Clan, and I can barely be considered a shadow-level strength. Take Huey and let her serve me honestly when the time comes. How could this man know about the existence of his concubine? In the inner space of the moon, Akira Okabumi, who has been searching for opportunities for resurrection, appears somewhat surprised. You should know that this Chinsho Chinyu is just a branch of her child below, 
it is impossible to know the existence of such an invincible ancestor like her. It is obvious that the diary writer Qian Shou Qian Yu not only has a clear understanding of Hui, but also seems to know a lot about the Otoku clan. This couldn't help but make Hui feel a bit puzzled and puzzled. It seems that when he breaks the seal, he can meet this man named Qian Yu. As for his wild words. De Tong Mu Hui gave a cold smile at night, and I am the invincible existence of the ninja realm. But if it weren't for the sudden appearance of this diary, I would still be in a deep sleep at this moment. Although Daitsuki Kagaya's consciousness has not yet fully recovered, she is slowly coming to understand. Through the records of the owner of this diary, she may be able to understand the current situation in the ninja world. While Daitsuki Kanzuya was calming down and continuing to read his diary, new content appeared again. Wait, I suddenly thought to myself, as the founder of Chakra, do we all belong to her children? In that case, can it be considered a bit violation of moral standards? The education I have received since childhood does not allow me to do such a heinous and immoral thing but I don't seem to be a person from the original ninja world. I should only be considered half at most, right, besides, I'm a bit curious. Every time she appears, she wears such a conservative himeji. What exactly does the little Giojio under her robe look like? Dot. De Tong Mu Hui Ye's previously calm mood almost caused Qian Yu to break through his defense in an instant. This bastard ordinary person actually wants to see the jade on my concubine's body. It's really shameless. In the sealed starting ball space, the originally fair skin face with a plain glow of night, now there is also a hint of anger and blush on my face. After all, although she will descend into the ninja world as the ultimate boss, she is still a foolish and sweet person after all. Otherwise, with such a combination of divine skills and any change of operator, it is impossible to lose to Naruto and Sasuke. Chapter 5 Top Physical Talent of the Thousand-Handed Clan Full You are listening at NovelFull.audio I don't know when Princess Tsunade will return to the village, but now Hinata and others are still a little too young. Only Tsunade's broad-mindedness can warm my lonely heart, who is currently alone in the ninja world, all right, all right, I see that Hinata's wife is also about to wake up, and she has almost enough words for today. I really look forward to what the reward the system will give this time is. Chencho Chenyu put away the diary at hand. Although it was only a few hundred words, his heart was extremely tormented. The systems they traverse are all direct start sign in delivery. It's better for oneself to write a broken diary, not only to write, but also to write every day. What's even more outrageous is that there is a minimum word requirement. What level of system do you have? Surprisingly, I still need to write a diary. Chencho Chenyu seems to have returned to the painful days of school, just like writing essays for exams. Holding 800 words is simply too difficult. Oftentimes, there is no other way but to say one sentence directly and then repeat it in reverse. Gather up the word count, it's not shabby. Next, just wait until midnight. Qian Yu muttered to himself, saying that the rewards of this diary will be settled at midnight every day. Previously, he had obtained the strongest physique of the Qianshou clan by writing a diary. The incredibly massive chakra, intermediate and low dot level ninjutsu can be learned almost at a glance, and there is also a self-healing function comparable to that of a thousand-handed pillar. This kind of Qianyu, relying solely on the physical strength of the Qianshou tribe, is about equivalent to a walking humanoid-tailed beast. If his only flaw is that he lacks a bit of powerful ninjutsu. For example, the wooden dragon that can be summoned with just one clap of the hands between the pillars, as well as various powerful seal ninjas. It's just that Qian Yu still hasn't been able to acquire these powerful ninjutsu skills, and his return to Kiba village is actually partly due to this reason. If Qian Yu remembers correctly, he failed the rehearsal test for Naruto Vortex's first ninja exam. Shuemu will tempt Naruto to steal the taboo scroll hidden by the third generation Hokage at this time. This is the purpose of Chenyu's approach to the ninja school. 
he has established a good relationship with Mizuki and closely monitors all of his actions. Until he realized that Shuemu seemed to occasionally meet with the third-generation Hokage Monkey Flying Sun Slayer, he even had a terrifying speculation in his heart. Is it possible that Mizuki instigated Naruto to steal scrolls? Everything was planned by the third-generation Hokage Monkey Flying Sun Slayer in the dark. No wonder I haven't found where the taboo scroll is hidden several times. It seems that only when the Naruto Vortex test fails and Mizuki comes to initiate this event. I, where am I? Just as Tianyu was thinking about his plan, Hinata, who had fainted, finally woke up. Hinata, it seems you're not a big deal, that's really great. Tianyu sat on the bench beside her, and at this moment, Hinata was still confused because the doctor at Kiba had just auscultated her heartbeat, so her clothes on her chest had not been pulled up yet. From the perspective of Chinyu, it is clear that she truly deserves to be the eldest lady of the Hinata family. Her nutrition is much better than that of ordinary families. Hinata was a bit shy when Chinyu stared at her, and her face turned red again. Fortunately, because I just fainted, the skill of being unconscious is still in the CD, so I can barely say a few words to Chinyu. Did you bring me here, Teacher Chinyu? Hinata glanced at the surroundings and then recalled what had happened in the classroom before fainting, quickly sorting it out. Of course, I happened to pass by the classroom and saw Hinata suddenly fainting. It seems that your family is a bit strict with your training at home. Facing Chinyu's words, Hinata nodded with his head down. This is not a secret. As the eldest daughter of the Hinata clan, Hinata Hinata has the responsibility of inheriting the Hinata family head. However, despite her slightly crooked talent and hard work, she still finds it difficult to satisfy her father Hinata Hinata. Even my younger sister's fireworks quickly reached her level thinking of this, Hinata's face showed a hint of sadness. Chen Yu could see the change in Hinata's expression on his face, and he reached out to touch Hinata's head, gently speaking, that's not your problem, Hinata. Everyone has their own destiny, and perhaps in the future, you can also become an excellent ninja. Really? Really? Upon hearing Chen Yu's encouragement, Hinata immediately looked over with a hopeful gaze. Hinata's almost foul expression almost made Chio blush. This kind of weak and eager gaze is really criminal. Chen Yu quickly shook his head, absolutely not. She's only twelve years old, she can't stand it. Cough, of course it's true. Upon hearing Chen Yu's affirmative response, Hinata Hinata nodded solemnly. If someone else said she might still doubt herself, but what's in front of her is Lord Chen Yu. Hinata saw it with his own eyes, and even his father was polite when facing Lord Chen Yu. So what he said must not be wrong, maybe he can really become an excellent ninja. Hinata Hinata rolled over from the bed and got down to the ground. After tidying up, she waved to Chihiro Chihiro and then showed a sweet smile. Thank you very much, Lord Chen Yu. After speaking, Hinata's face turned red again and she ran quickly towards the door. Chapter 6 Rewards for Diary, One Card of Chakra You are listening at NovelFull.audio Seeing Hinata running back to the classroom in one breath, Irika didn't pay much attention either, as long as Hinata was okay. Hinata returned to her position and eagerly opened her diary. Just now, she had secretly noticed that Lord Chenyu was writing something. I think the diary has been updated with new content again. Just a glance, Hinata's face did not stop blushing. She closed her diary and her mind was filled with the contents written by Chen Yu in the diary. How could he be interested in things like feet? Do Lord Chen Yu like bigger ones? Can I really become a stronger female ninja in the future? Lord Chen Yu Seems to be a bit of a pervert. Short Book Street, in a small tavern. A black-haired woman was holding a little pig in her arms, and her face looked very excited at the moment. Lord Gangs Ho, this guy named Chen Yu seems to know you. Tisk, being remembered by such a little ghost is not something to be happy about. 
The yellow-haired woman wearing a green coat took a strong sip of wine. A thousand hands and a thousand buildings. In this world of ninja, the once powerful thousand armed clan only has two of them left. Although Gangsho may seem ruthless on the surface, he still feels a little excited in his heart. Qian Yu, this little ghost is quite discerning. After all, how could one's own magnanimity possibly equate with that of a little ghost? Just as Gangsho and Mute approached, a new prompt message popped up in the diary. Detected a diary copy nearby. Do you want to add the other party's friend? Gangs Ho and Mute were both slightly stunned at the same time. They also suddenly discovered the diary, and because it was not allowed to be disclosed, they did not expect that the other party would also find it. After the two agreed, a friend option appeared in their respective diaries. Without too much hesitation, the two of them directly clicked on confirm. Congratulations on successfully adding friends, unlock the diary friend communication function, which can ignore distance restrictions. This. Lord Gungate. Silence was clearly completely unexpected, as this small diary still had this function. Especially when it comes to communication that ignores distance, it's quite abnormal. Lord Gangsho often stays up all night drunk, causing mute to search everywhere. If we had the communication function of this diary, it would be much more convenient next time. He 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 he. Because Mute was too excited, I forgot about the little pig in my arms for a moment. That moment almost suffocated it. Gansho's eyes also lit up, not because the little pig had suffocated and died, but because he could add food and drink at the moment. She just didn't realize that this diary had other uses besides reading the boring information on it. In the future, when you run away in debt, you can split up with Mute and run away without worrying about getting lost. The two of them briefly used the friend function on their diary, which is somewhat similar to the spiritual communication ability of a mountain tribe, but it is more convenient. Just add friends to each other in your diary. Gangs Ho and Mute both smiled at the same time, and this diary is really useful for them. Kiba and Nimura, Chensho Chenyu, returned to his standalone villa. This villa is almost the largest residence of Kiba now, and of course, it was also a former industry of the Chisho clan, but now it has all been transformed into a private property of Chiyu. He returned to the room and set the alarm and chose to rest. It wasn't until midnight that Chinyu woke up amidst the originally scheduled alarm. Oh, is it twelve o'clock? With Chen Yu's words falling, the diary that was originally in his mind emitted an invisible force, which directly penetrated into his body. Chen Yu can clearly perceive that this diary has brought tremendous improvement to both her mind and body. Congratulations to the host for completing the second diary. Rewards are being distributed. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the five attributes of wind, water, thunder, earth, and fire chakra, in addition, for each day of diary completion, you will receive an additional card of chakra. Congratulations to the host for receiving an additional reward. One carat of chakra, dot. Chen Yu feels that his chakra has improved slightly, as if it has increased by about 1%. It truly deserves to be a carat, there doesn't seem to be much difference between having it and not having it. After all, Qian Yu now possesses the terrifying cells of the Qianshou clan, and chakra can almost be described as massive. The humanoid tailed beast is so terrifying. Is it a chakra with five attributes? Qianshou Qian Yu spoke lightly, and this reward is just average. Compared to the top cells of the Thousand Hand clan for the first time, it is still far from enough, but it is still barely considered good. In the world of ninja, Chakra's attribute restraint is quite obvious. Excluding the relatively special yin and yang attributes, the remaining wind, water, thunder, earth, and fire can all balance and constrain each other. In other words, just like playing Pokemon, as long as you learn to use attribute restraint, you can achieve twice the result with half the effort. Of course. Certain inverse attribute masters are not within the scope of discussion. As for the one-card chakra, the system has also made it very clear that as long as you write a diary every day, 
you can obtain it. It can also be considered a full attendance reward or something like that, it's better than nothing. As long as you persist in writing for a hundred days, the total amount of chakras can also be approximately doubled, right? Future Wives, Future Wives At this moment, Qianxiu Qianyu is full of hope for the future, after all, not to mention the invasion of Otoku, even the deployment of the Xiao organization is still a long time away. Nowadays, Naruto Sasuke has not even formed the seventh class. Speaking of which, can I take in two people as younger brothers in advance? Qianxiu Qianyu thought that as the sons of fate, it is almost inevitable that the two of them will grow up in the future. In situations where it is impossible to suppress, it is naturally the most appropriate to gather and compile. Speaking of having to teach Hinata and the others tomorrow, Qianyu lazily yawned and turned around to sleep under the covers. Chapter 7 Only I Heartfelt Sasuke Gij You are listening at NovelFull.audio There's actually no breakfast shop in this world. No wonder Naruto seems to often go out with half a piece of bread in his mouth and expired milk in his mouth. Qianxiu Qianyu walked in the streets of my early in the morning, full of silent roast. Although the world of Hokage is still very good, it always feels a bit strange. For example, they have wireless communication equipment, but they have never attempted to further manufacture telephones. If it's a ninja, they can still rely on their extraordinary physical abilities to move over a wide range, but ordinary people in this world still stay at the level of walking on both feet. Even. Not even a bicycle. Rich daimyos only travel in sedan chairs, and in a hurry, ninjas need to carry their backs. Chinyu was a bit puzzled, this world doesn't seem as ancient as it seems. Why is technology? Not developing at all. Even it's all crooked. Not to mention anything else, let's just talk about the screen used for random battle lists in the Zhongren exam. Does this thing require a certain level of technical expertise? But they have even thought of and even made this technology, but they have never considered continuing to develop it. Or make a little contribution to the better survival and life of the ninja world. I, it seems like. Some. Understand. Orochimaru. In this ninja world, science is not accepted by these people at all. Perhaps only Chenyu, who has experienced the convenience brought by modern civilization, understands the importance of science. Damn it, the Lamian Noodles restaurant with big barrel of wood and joy has not opened yet. It seems that I am hungry this morning. Chenyu walks to the door of Lamian Noodles restaurant, only to find that Uncle Yael has not started business yet. He kept a diary in his mind to record what happened today, and in order to count the words, he basically wrote wherever he thought. Fortunately, a diary may not necessarily be in handwritten form, and recording what you want to say in your mind can also be considered as completion. Lord Chenyu. Didn't you eat? Hinata Hinata looked at the delicious food in front of her, and as the eldest daughter of the Hinata clan, her living conditions were naturally not inferior. Not only are there dedicated people responsible for cooking in the morning, middle, and evening, but they also pay great attention to nutritional matching. This is also one of the important reasons why she has developed significantly at a young age. The Tong Mu Yi Lu I have never heard of this name before. As a noble big barrel would, how can I sell Lamian noodles? Huey in the ancestral space saw the update of the log, and her expression changed to disdain. Unexpectedly, the Otungu people should be so self-indulgent that they went to sell Lamian noodles, which is really a shame. Is this so? Called the Guan Mu Yi Lu a descendant of Yu village or Yu Yi? After the seal on my concubine's body is broken, I must ruthlessly dismantle his noodle shop. Speaking of which, I didn't expect Hinata's wife to faint so easily yesterday. Is she anemic? Or is it because she discovered her unique skill with her white eyes that she is so shy? The white eyes of the Hinata clan are really very convenient, if only I had them too, I don't know if this white eye has the same function as the Uchiha clan, plug and play. With the physique of my Chinsho clan, it shouldn't be a problem. 
On the playground of the ninja school, Chensho Chinyu taught the students some basic ninjutsu and brought them here. Because the graduation exam will be two days later, Chen Yu also held an early rehearsal. The person who called out their name walked forward and both sides fought until the point was reached. Do you understand? Chen Yu spoke faintly to the ninja ghost in front of him. Since there are no issues, let's first. Um. Uchiha Sasuke. It's Sasuke. As a cold young man with black hair approached, many female ninjas still let out screams of surprise. Even Inoue and Sakura in the mountains have set their sights on this young man. He is Uchiha Sasuke, known as the absolute genius of this generation of ninjas. If nothing unexpected happens, it is almost certain that he will graduate with first place in ninja school. Seeing Uchiha Sasuke appear, the other ninjas became a bit nervous. Although it's just a battle show, no one wants to be Sasuke's opponent. Chen Yu scanned back and forth in front of the ninja in front of him, and everyone avoided his gaze. Only one person was looking at him with an immensely hopeful gaze at the moment. Since that's the case, Naruto Vortex, let you be Sasuke's opponent. A big drop in oil, that's great. Naruto Vortex excitedly walked out of the crowd, he had been waiting for this day for too long. Damn Sasuke, I can't stand his pretentious appearance the most, but unfortunately, Sakura is very interested in this kind of guy. Watch me fiercely repair you, Sasuke. Humph, even a mere crane tail dares to speak shamelessly, he is indeed just a super idiot. Faced with Naruto Vortex's provocation, Sasuke's face showed no change in expression, only an incredibly cold expression. In his opinion, Naruto Vortex couldn't even make him take it a little seriously. The others on the field also share the same idea as Sasuke. Naruto Vortex is too weak now, even Kazumaru can easily win in close combat. It is obvious that this is another one-sided hang-up without any suspense. I don't know why Naruto was so excited, could it be that he activated certain attributes when he was beaten by Sasuke? So. The battle begins. With Chinyu's announcement, Uchiha Sasuke took the initiative to launch an attack on Naruto. He looked very serious and prepared to quickly end this foolish battle. However, just as Sasuke rushed forward, the Naruto vortex in front of him disappeared. How? How could it be? Sasuke's gaze revealed disbelief. The next second, before he could react, Naruto vortex had already appeared behind him. Ha! With a punch from Naruto, it hit Sasuke's face heavily. Looking at the scene before us, everyone fell silent. Just now. Was that still Naruto? He actually defeated Sasuke. Am I still dreaming? Naruto, why did his speed suddenly become so fast just now? You are all curious about why Naruto has become stronger, is it only me who cares about Sasuke Gage? Chapter 8 the people of the Thousand-Handed Clan are indeed not good people. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Dot. Uchiha Sasuke fell to the ground, looking at Naruto Vortex in front of him. His eyes flashed with an incredible expression, completely unable to believe what was happening before him. I, how could I lose to the crane tail? I am a genius of the Uchiha Clan. Unable to accept the reality of Sasuke, he ran out of the school without even forming a reconciliation seal with Naruto. Sasuke. Sasuke. Looking at Uchiha Sasuke's embarrassed escape, Hirono Sakura didn't know what to say for a moment. She still couldn't believe that Sasuke was defeated by Naruto. At this moment, Naruto Vortex was full of pride and constantly boasted in front of Sakura. How about it, Sakura? Have I become much stronger? Did I look very handsome just now? Stay away from me, Naruto, otherwise I won't be polite. Seeing Sakura raising her fist and her hair burning with anger, Naruto instantly became disheartened. He really doesn't understand why Sakura still treats him like this when he even defeated Sasuke. Everything that happened before us was naturally seen by Chincho Chinyu. 
Although he had no expression on his face, he said inwardly. Everything is going according to plan. The reason why Naruto Vortex was suddenly able to defeat Uchiha Sasuke was because he taught Naruto the technique of attaching chakra to the soles of his feet. Although Naruto has only been practicing for less than two and a half days and has not fully mastered it. But it's just too much to deal with Sasuke, who hasn't even left ninja school yet. Chinsho Chinyu naturally had his own plan for doing so. The destruction of the Uchiha clan seems to have dealt a significant blow to Sasuke, who only survived, but now he is still living in anger what I need to do is to transform his anger into a desire for strength and unwillingness to be weak. Sasuke is a person who can even sacrifice his own body to avenge the Uchiha clan. Of course, I'm not very interested in this little ghost's body anymore. What I value is only his future growth. As one of the inheritors of the Six Paths, he naturally has great value in utilization as for the truth about the Uchiha clan. Hmm it's not time to tell Sasuke yet, speaking of which, Yuzibo is really a pity. That Yuzibo Meichin is not bad looking, it's still a top tier wife with a buff bonus. Itachi's childhood sweetheart is also quite good, but unfortunately it's gone. Alas, forget it. I'm a little hungry. Go and have a bowl of luxurious Lamian noodles. You. The truth about the destruction of the Yujibwa clan. Does this guy really know? In the dark of the ninja school, a secret agent who was constantly monitoring the movements of Naruto Vortex looked surprised. She wore a signature dark mask on her face and had beautiful purple long hair. There is also a diary in Mao Yu Xian's mind. The diary of Qianshou Qianyu, Mao Yu Xian, she was not surprised that Naruto Vortex defeated Sasuke Uchiha. Because Qianshou Qianyu naturally observed Naruto's teachings in secret throughout the entire process, and even reflected to the third generation Hokage monkey flying sun slash. San Dai Huiying was very calm about this matter, just nodded. Don't worry about him. What really surprised Mao Yue Shi Yen now is that, according to the diary of Qianshu Qianyu, could he really know the truth about the extermination of the Yuzibo clan? But when Uchiha exterminated the clan, didn't this guy come to Kiba Ninja Village yet? How on earth did he know? Also, this bastard only wrote half of his diary. It's really infuriating. Mao Yue Xian was extremely angry. As the trusted dark side of the third generation Hokage, she naturally knew more about the things behind Mai. However, she only knew a little about the extermination of the Uchiha clan. It was said that it was related to the former Uchiha genius Itachi. And it seems that there is also a certain connection between this and the root side behind it. Maoyue Shien naturally dared not delve deeper into such matters. Her identity is in the dark, she is the person who performs tasks for Lord Hokage in the dark. However, if there is a chance in the future, she still wants to find a chance to set up this thousand-handed thousand you. Rain country, a towering tower somewhere. Wrapped in a black robe, one can still see the perfect female angel. Xiao Nan. At this moment, she appears somewhat worried. Why is that guy named Qianshou Qianyu, who knows not only their organization but also about Uchiha's extermination, even though he hasn't started any plans yet? Apart from those words that make people blush and feel heartbroken, such as, Uchiha Meichin is good, and, wife's buff bonus. Xiao Nan can still tell from his diary that Qianshou Qianyu must really know the truth about the extermination of the Yuzibo clan. What he said was too decisive, and most importantly, there was no need for him to lie in his diary. Xiao Nan, your complexion doesn't seem to be very good. From behind Xiao Nan, Chang Men slowly walked out. Nothing. Nothing. Xiao Nan shook his head and then thought of something else. She couldn't rest assured about the matter of Qianshu Qianyu. She had already planned a peace plan for the ninja realm for so long, and she couldn't let this inexplicable person appear and destroy it. Xiao Nan made up her mind and spoke with her back to the long gate. Chang Men, in a while, I may need to go to Mai. Go to Mai. Chang Men also has some doubts. 
It's not time to arrest Joey yet, so there's no need to go to my at this time. I have some things that I need to understand clearly. Upon hearing Xiao Nan's serious words, Chang Men did not object to anything more. If there is anything else in this world that he can trust, it is only Xiao Nan around him. That's also why, while establishing the Xiao organization, it handed over the very important financial power to Xiao Nan. Damn it, as expected, the people of the Thousand-Handed Clan are not very serious, they are not good people. In the pure land world, as mentioned in Qin Yu's diary, people who had already fallen into permanent slumber gradually woke up. She just can't leave here yet, she can only look at the diary in front of her with a blush on her face. I don't know what the future holds for Sasuke and Itachi, these two children. The beautiful black-haired young woman had a worried expression on her face, and the only thing she couldn't rest assured of was these two children. Unfortunately, she cannot leave the pure land world now. Hey, if it could be resurrected. That would be great. It would be great if Miss Acarus were below Chapter 9. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Have a deluxe version of Yao Lamian Noodles. Entering the Lamian Noodles restaurant, Qian Shou Qian Yu directly found a seat to sit down. Qian Yu is curious about the Lamian Noodles restaurant where Naruto often comes to eat in the comics. Is it really so delicious? Even after Naruto became the seventh Hokage, he still couldn't forget it. However, there is still a little difference between Qian Yu and Naruto. He came here to eat Lamian Noodles, except that he wanted to have a try at Lo Lamian Noodles. I also want to meet Uncle Yael's daughter. Miss Changpu. Although Miss Changpu doesn't have many scenes in the Hokage comics, she is always quite stunning every time she appears, which can be said to be no less than the presence of Sakura in the later stage. It's a pity that I finally came to have Lamian noodles, but Miss Changpu was not here. Chinsho Chienyu recorded in his diary with a gloomy expression on his face, revealing a deep sense of melancholy. In front of him, Uncle Yael is still full of vitality and drive. Unfortunately, Chen Yu doesn't have much interest in men. In the hot spring of Mai, while taking a bath, Acarus Calamus suddenly turned red. She saw the diary content that Chen Shou Chen Yu had just written. Hey! Someone went to eat Lamian noodles just to see me. For a moment, Changpu didn't know what to do. She didn't expect that there would still be someone in the world of ninja who could observe her small and transparent existence. After all, the status of the ninja world can be roughly divided into daimyos, nobles, wealthy merchants, ninjas, and commoners. As the lowest level existence in the world of ninja, being able to live in Kiba is already very happy. Although it is impossible to buy houses in the center of Mai by selling Lamian noodles, the money she earned was not even enough to support her daily bathing at the Kiba hot springs. But this kind of life is always better than other places, Besides the five great powers, there are also countless unknown small countries in the ninja world. The lives of civilians living in these countries are completely at the mercy of fate. Compared to others, besides having a strict hierarchy and relatively high tax collection, Mai is still barely considered good. The diary of Qianshou Qianyu, Changpu, looking at the Golden Border diary that came to mind, Acarus Calamus naturally understood the meaning of the words, Thousand Hands. That's the first Hokage surname that created Kiba Ninja Village. Nowadays, the Yamanaka, Nara, Mito, Inzuka, Yoshino, and even the Hinata clan are far from being compared to the Chiba clan. Since the rise of the third generation Hokage, the ape flying clan has gradually become active in the sight of the Fire Kingdom. According to the knowledge of Acarus Calamus, currently there are only 3,000 people from the ape flying tribe in Muyuran Village. It can be said that it is truly the largest family in reality. Such a famous family, if they can gain some connections, maybe they can also do Lamian Noodles business in the business center of Mai. It's just a pity that everyone from those prestigious families comes from a ninja background. As Ape Flying Asma became an elite ninja at a young age, she is very likely to become the successor of the next Hokage. Because of this identity, the target of ape-flying asthma will naturally not be any worse. 
Zirihong not only has a great talent for illusions, but also belongs to the prestigious Zirihong clan. His father, Yurihara Akira, is even said to be able to compete with the kaleidoscope Sharingan in terms of illusion. He can use his illusion to cover an entire area, and only the former wooden leaf white tooth has successfully cracked his illusion spell. Although with the death of Akihara, the Akihara clan gradually began to decline. But as long as Shirihong can be with Ape Flying Asthma, it has great benefits for both the Shiri tribe and the Ape Flying tribe. After all, the Uchiha clan, who are most skilled in illusions, have been wiped out overnight. Thinking of these complex things, Chan Pu quickly shook her head. These are not things that a commoner like her can participate in. However, Qin Shou Qin Yu not only looks very handsome, but also has strong strength as a ninja, and is a descendant of the Qin Shou clan. Chan Pu stood up, revealing her snowy skin, with a curvaceous figure that was quite standard and tasteful. I finally had a day off, it seems like I need to rush back to the store to help. Uncle Yila's Lamian noodles is really good, but it's even more delicious under Calamus. Qin Shou Qin Yu is sucking the Lamian noodles in the bowl, and he deserves to be called the strongest man in tolerance. The following craftsmanship is superb. The Lamian noodles is extremely delicious. Even Qin Shou Qin Yu couldn't help but start eating the second bowl. Just as Qin Shou Qin Yu was enjoying his meal, a petite body walked in from outside the door. Welcome, may I ask what the guest wants to eat? Uncle Yael showed a standard smile to the girl who came in outside, and this service is quite crucial. The girl who came had a pair of pure white pupils. She just nodded shyly at Uncle Yael, and then shyly looked at Qin Yu beside her. Eh, isn't this Xiao Tian? Why, you also come to eat Lamian noodles? Qin Shou Qin Yu turned his head and found that the newly entered girl was none other than the young lady of the Hinata clan, Hinata Hinata. At this moment, Hinata's face turned red and he hesitated several times before speaking. Qin Yu is not in a hurry either. He knows Hinata's personality and sometimes finds it very interesting to see her so shy. So. That. That. That, after trying several times, Hinata finally mustered up the courage and placed her hands behind her back fiercely in front of Qin Yu. Two small hands, as white as jade, were holding a box wrapped in a pink tablecloth. Teacher Qin Yu, this. This is the bento I made. I don't know if it suits your taste either. Hinata finally spoke in one breath. It turned out that she was looking through Qin Yu's diary in the morning and found that Qin Yu wanted to have breakfast, but was struggling to find a place. So Hinata thought of trying to make a bento for Chiyayu, but there were too many people in the ninja school just now. She has never been embarrassed to take it out. After school, it was also through the diary that we learned that teacher Qin Yu was eating Lamian noodles at Uncle Yael's. So she rushed over in a hurry. Well, thank you, Hinata. Qinshou Qin Yu took the bento from Hinata's hand and even drew the symbol of the Qinshou clan on it. It is a tree-based pattern with thriving branches at both ends. Although the painting skills are average, Qin Yu can see that Hinata is very dedicated. This is really great. Qin Yu pointed to the pattern on it and smiled warmly, saying. Upon hearing teacher Qin Yu's praise, Hinata's face turned even redder. She remembered the last time she fainted, and when teacher Qin Yu carried her to the medical room, she felt even more shy for a moment. That Xiao Tian, it's noon now. Why don't I treat you to Lamian noodles? Don't be polite, just eat, it's my treat. Hey! Zayuda's eyes blinked. Teacher Qin Yu asked me to eat Lamian noodles. Chapter 10 Naruto Vortex is surprisingly the son of a hero. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Half an hour later, looking at the ten bowls of Lamian noodles stacked high in front of Akita, even Chinsho Chinyu, who had been prepared, said with a little surprise. Unexpectedly. Hinata. Still. Quite edible. He looked at Hinata's expression, which seemed still unsatisfied, as well as his developing chest, and spoke lightly. 
It's okay, just rest assured and eat well. If the teacher says treat you, then treat you. Hinata's face showed a smile. Originally, she didn't plan to eat so much, after all, it was really embarrassing. Just after eating a bowl of lamian noodles, Chuda said he was full, but he couldn't stand teacher Chinyu's advice all the time. Unable to do anything, Hinata symbolically ate another bowl. Chinsho Chinyu, who had already finished eating, was not in a hurry. He watched from the side and even took the time to write a diary. I can't believe that Hinata's wife looks so good eating noodles. It's really hard to get tired of it. I don't know what Hinata's wife's cooking skills are, but of course, I'm referring to her cooking skills. Speaking of which, Hinata seems completely different from Ino and Sakura, especially Ino, who was originally so outstanding, but unfortunately learned from Sakura and became a Yano. Although in terms of appearance, I am not inferior to Sasuke at all, I am still a bit unhappy compared to Hinata's wife, it's better, damn it, I'm not Yen Go. Ino, who was helping at the flower shop, almost smashed the flower pot in his hand in anger. Looking at the content in the diary, I found out that Chin Yu was actually eating noodles with Chu Tian. Just let the two of them go on a date without me. You still have to speak ill of me. To put it another way, I am also the most beautiful beauty among the young generation of ninjas in the mountains. Although it may be a bit inferior to Hinata, can you stop constantly comparing me with that ugly little cherry with a wide forehead? Damn it! The guests who came to prepare to buy flowers also looked bewildered when they saw Inoue's frantic appearance. They were afraid of angering the other party and quickly chose to leave. Humph, isn't it just a bento? Who wouldn't know how to make it? I'll make it for you next time too. Inoue has made up her mind, but she will not easily give up. Even if her opponent is Hinata, she will not show any mercy. Chensho Chenyu, who was in the Lamian Noodles restaurant, suddenly felt a chill behind him, as if he was being stared at by something terrible. But under the chakra perception he released, within the surrounding area, there was only a crescent sunset staring at him. What is this woman? Not staring at Naruto today. Coming to monitor me for. Chensho Chenyu gave a cold smile, but he didn't pay much attention. How could I suddenly feel a chill? Could it be that monkey flying sun slaying old monkey using his telescope technique to peep at me again, this old pervert likes to see me every day. As an old man, can't he see something even more beautiful? Fortunately, this guy's attention is still focused on the child of Naruto Vortex, and when it comes to this little ghost, it's quite unfortunate. Hey, Naruto. Hinata, who was eating noodles, saw information about Naruto appearing in her diary and was curious about Teacher Chinyu's evaluation of Naruto. In order to procrastinate, I directly gestured to Uncle Yael to continue going up, I can still eat. Although they are descendants of heroes, they are treated as demon foxes by the entire village. I don't know what would happen if the fourth Hokage and Juxina survived. As the biological parents of Naruto, it is obvious that both Feng Shui men and Jio Xian Na are not very competent, especially both Feng Shui men. I still don't understand why he wants to die with Jio Xian Na, although he could have survived and raised Naruto, his childhood would have been completely different under the prestige of both Feng Shui men. However, it's unlikely that Shui men had thought so much. He wouldn't have expected that the third Hokage would take care of their children like this. The lie that Naruto is a demon fox has been going on for 12 years, it's hard to imagine how he managed to endure it. Anyway, if it were me, I would have turned black long ago, what? Naruto, that bastard is not a fox, but a child of the fourth generation Hokage of the Kanoha hero. Chunai Sakura has just changed her clothes, and she is ready to go out. Naturally, the goal is the Lamian Noodles restaurant. When she saw the newly written content in Chin Yu's diary, she was completely stunned. What are you looking at, Naruto? How could he possibly be a descendant of a hero? The people in the village all despise him so much. At this moment, Haruno Sakura's heart was somewhat shattered. 
In the past, Naruto Vortex followed her like a licking dog, and she could ignore Naruto. She originally didn't like Naruto and couldn't compare to Sasuke, who was handsome and came from a prestigious family. But now Sakura realized that Naruto was actually a descendant of Hokage, the man known as the Kiba hero, whose face was even carved on Hokage rock. Compared to Naruto Vortex's background, I feel more like a clown. Coming from an ordinary background, having an average appearance, even a mediocre physique. The former sense of superiority towards Naruto Vortex is now like a boomerang, hitting oneself in one go. She suddenly realized that the people around her, whether they were Ino, Hinata, or Dinji, Kazumaru, or even Tian Tian who opened a ninja shop at home, now added a hero named Naruto. All of them are either rich or noble, and no one is worse off than their own background. The sensitive and fragile inner world exploded in an instant. No, no, I absolutely can't be looked down upon by that Naruto guy. Fortunately, that old monkey should have been killed by Orochimaru in the middle ninja exam, right? TSK TSK, the hero is getting old, and I didn't expect to die at the hands of my own disciple in the end. Can that guy, Orochimaru, be able to take action against Kanoha? Gungate, who had just woken up and slept until noon, discovered the update on today's diary content. It can only be said that the amount of information is extremely explosive. Especially Orochimaru will personally kill Ape Flying Sun Slash. Although Gangsho doesn't really like the old guy Ape Flying Sun Slash, if compared to Orochimaru. At least Ape Flying Sun Slash can still be considered her teacher. It's hard to imagine that the famous three ninja teachers in the ninja world are all one person, the third generation Hokage Monkey Flying Sun Slash of Kiba. Silence, we're getting ready to go back to the village. What? What? I didn't hear you wrong, Lord Gungate. The quiet voice who was feeding the little pig in his arms and drinking milk was very confused, have you not woken up yet? Yesterday's drink was indeed too much. Stop talking nonsense, I'm not drunk. Just take a look at the contents of that diary and you'll understand. Upon hearing Gangsho's words, Mute In also began to check the latest diary content written by Chinsho Chinyu. Not only did it reveal that Naruto Vortex was the son of a hero, but it also indicated that the third generation Hokage could not survive the ninja exam. Nowadays, the leaves of wood are naturally not as good as before. With the passing of generations of geniuses, there is already no one left. Famous figures such as the white teeth of wooden leaves, yellow glitter, instant water stopping, and red sunset have all died. If even the only three generations of Hokage that can be brought to the table today have passed away, it is hard to imagine how other villages would launch aggression and retaliation against Myuba. May I ask for a free flower gift? Thank you.